Okay, so this is my weight loss journey vlog. I haven't done vlogs like this in a long time. And I wanted to uh, start doing it again. And while that's not the perfect situation, and I don't know what to say, I'm just going to talk about what's going on. So, I've been running for probably about four months now. And I think that the workout is going good there. Um, my times is like between 45 and 43 minutes. And I'm wondering, is my time ever going to get shorter? Um, I know that I'm probably not the fastest runner out there, but that's something I've been able to consistently do. Uh, my body feels a lot more used to it than when I first started. And, uh, I'm just going to continue doing it. It's good to have sometimes a friend won't run with me. So that's good. I like that. And, um, it's interesting because my friend's skinnier than I am. So I'm like, wait a minute. You ain't going to let no big old 250 pound dude outrun you. <laughs> um, but her pace is, is faster than mine, but I could still jog the whole three miles without, without uh, stopping. So that's good. But the problem is it's like now I got to figure out what I'm going to do for Mondays, Wednesday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So that's going to be a strength training thing. And after a while, I looked, I looked at all the videos and I saw that um, <laughs> there's a million different opinions on there. There's a million different opinions on what you should do and what you should do. And one thing I did know is that when I started the app, you just have to pick one and stick with it for a while. And so what I'm going to do is develop my own weight training program and just stick with it for a month and see where I land up. I have a, I have tried to lift weights so many times and then I like stop after that first week and the weights are just sitting there i'm like okay i'll get around to it so i can't really operate in that mentality anymore and i'm glad to have other friends come out and train me and run sometimes too so it's nice to know that i have friends now that will uh come work out with me and stuff like that so i'm just trying to continue to do that process i i not sure about hiring a trainer. One, I don't know if anybody's trying to train right now with the COVID situation going on right now. But I'll have to teach myself just like that. Found the app. Maybe I have to kind of dig through some apps and see what I like. But I do believe that you just have to kind of start doing it. So I'm going to start lifting. I'm, I'm going to do split training, which means I'm going to work out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So Mondays, I'm going to do... Uh, kind of like a chest bicep thing, stuff like that. Wednesdays is probably going to be core. And then Fridays will be the back and the pool stuff. And I'm uh, going to do 14 sets, reps of 8 to 12 on these different workouts. And I'm just going to stick with that because if I keep looking at YouTube videos and I keep trying to do research and Asking around, I'm just going to keep different opinion, getting different opinions. I'm never going to start. And I really need to actually start this time because I've started so many times. And I'm like, and I, and I haven't stuck with it. The running thing I've done for four months. This is on top of diet, eating about 1,500 calories a day. I'm using protein shakes and I got a meal. And uh, that worked pretty good. But I think now I need to develop my program. And, um, and I hate talking too. I just, everybody talks about what they got to do. It probably even me, but I just want to document what I'm, what I got going on. So the key is, is that I'm going to develop a program to do weight training. I'm going to keep running because that's a good cardio. I don't want to lose that 5k training. I don't want to lose that. I got something going there. I don't want to lose it. And the, the, the frustrating part is that there's going to be situations where I may have to travel and I won't have what I need to continue to weight train on me. So actually I had a book. Maybe I should just read that book too about body weight training. And, um, and uh, I probably have to reread. I think the problem is, is like it's easy to kind of like dive into something real fast and then I say, oh, and then think you got it. And then, but the truth is that you don't got it because it's not something you made a lifestyle. Even with the running, like one thing I do have is that I expect to do it within a certain amount of time. I have a routine. I have a couple places I run and that's a good therapy for my mental health. And so now I want to see if I can get to that level 
of three months of weightlifting uh, to see what that does to as well. And uh, I have to teach myself. Uh, I can't really afford a trainer. There was a gym that wasn't too far from me. And they were charging like 40 bucks a month. That gym is shut down and gone now. Planet Fitness is a little out the way for me. And I have dumbbells, but I've never, all the whole time I've had these dumbbells, and I've had them for a while, I've never really gotten to the point to where I've mastered them. They've just been there waiting on me. And it's like, at this age, at this time, if I don't start really training, it's going to be harder to get back to when I'm older. I don't really have any excuses. I, I maintain the lifestyle with as minimal amount of distractions as possible. So that's good. But now I need to take more advantage of that and build the body that I want to have at least one time on this go around. Um, and to break just obesity, uh, it just seems like it's been a pattern of, of that in my family messing us up. And I knew that if I don't change, it's going to mess me up too. So I'm, I'm really trying to fight my way out of that. Thankfully, I don't have a lot of distractions. I don't have like a family and a lot of extra responsibilities, um, which enabled me to focus on that and to be better facilitated and positioned to go after my dreams and goals. But there's a cost to it. There's a price I pay for that. So that's my weight loss journey. I weigh 250.2 pounds. So if I really eat on point this week and I hit this train and I hit that running, I think that I'm going to at least be 249. So that's what I'm hoping for. Two pounds is good. But if 249 is what I reach, that's that's good. So that's my weight loss journey vlog. Trying to practice making these videos more and, and, and just continue to build. And I think it'll be good. All right. That's my vlog. See you on the next one.